Welcome back to this next section of chapter 7. Here we're going to cover 7.3 replacement of variable. Let me use a very simple example to illustrate. Let's take a look at this one. Or one on the left, the expression on the left, you should know by now this notation. That means you start k equals to 3. You actually, if I write out the terms, it's 3 square plus 4 square all the way to n square. If I write the right hand side, is up k equals to 1, right? Into this, you also get 3 square. Sub k equals to 2, you get 4 square. All the way, you sub k equals n minus 2, you also get an n square. So I can safely say these two are the same. But how do we get from here to here by using this idea of replacement of variable? It's very simple. Look, this is k. Correct? Can I safely say this one? Whether it is k or j, actually is the same. Notice I deliberately write j equals to n because this j equals to n is indeed the last term when I stick. My j takes on the value n. Correct? You get 1, 3 square, 4 square, all the way to j equals to n, that means n square. Now, I can replace k with j. I can replace k, j, I'm oh, sorry, I beg your pardon, k with k plus 1, k plus 2. So the killer move here is this. I will replace k with k plus 2. Now, but let me write out what it means here. All right? It means this. It means this, huh? I write the summation out. Maybe the arrow shouldn't point here. The arrow point here first. Replacing k with k plus 2. I must emphasize here, you must only replace k with k plus 1, k plus 2, k minus 1, k minus 2. Never with 2k. Okay, it's not a simple substitution because why? Because you are doing counting numbers here. Alright, k can only take on 3, 4, 5. If you just do a linear transformation, linear with the coefficient 1, I mean, that means k plus 1, k plus 2, it's fine. But you cannot replace k with 2k plus 2. Sorry, it doesn't work. Yes? So, back to this. If I replace k with k plus 2, this is k plus 2 equals to 3. That means I get, inside you get k plus 2 square. What is most important is you have to write the upper limit is also k plus 2 takes on the value n. This is most important. Only then will you end up here. Only then will you end up here because you move, you minus 2 on both sides, you get n minus 2. You minus 2 on both sides, you get k goes to 1. Then your expression will look like this. Clear enough? The most important I want to emphasize is this. Is you, your upper limit is like that. It may even be recommended if you write the k up here. Okay? So, now, let us take a look at example 10, which is essentially the same as example 9 part 3. All right? Instead of using what we did just now, can we use a replacement of variable to solve this? To solve this. So, let's... see how do we get here All right how do we get here okay these steps are for example that once we reach this point the rest is the same okay so let's see again this one right from part two it is like this we are supposed to get to this point and let's think how what is a possible replacing replacement Replace K with what? Actually, the clue is very simple. You just look at the summon here. You will know. From here to here. Very simple. You just replace K with K minus 1. Right? Then the summon will look the same already. Yes? But just take note. 
my recommendation is right here. This first line, your first lower limb is k equals to 1 to k equals to n. When you replace k with k minus 1, you will write this. k minus 1 equals to n. k minus 1 equals to 1. k square for k over k plus 1 k plus 2. Am I right? So from here, I repeat, from here to end up here, you will just replace k with k minus 1. You will end up here. Then your next step is just the same. Your next line will exactly be what happens. Maybe I write this next line. Alright? It's just n plus 1, k equals to 2, k square for k over k plus 1, k plus 2. Now from this point onwards, it's the same as example 9 part 3. It's exactly the same. So all these steps remain the same. I don't want to go through. We are there. So how do we get here? It is just from here. Alright, may you want to replay this video if you are not sure. With that, we have a quiz and we will conclude this chapter. Thank you.